could do something special. And Aurora, Aurora's here. Go ahead and sit down there. I want to be a Guys. child today. <laughs> I want to sit up there with the children. Right here. Today, this is your first time to do this. We're so glad that you came. This is Michael. Hi, Michael. And he is... Miss Ronnie's grandson. We're so glad that he's here with us. This morning, we're going to talk about the last of the birds that we learn about in the Bible and what they have to teach us about God's love for us. Honestly, this is the best one. This is my favorite one. This is a bird called a sparrow. What do you know about a sparrow? Know anything about sparrows? Uh, uh, there, there is a character in a movie with the name Sparrow. I, 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 I kind of like that, but that, that's not what this lesson's about. <laughs> so that, that's for another day, another, another story. Uh, there is a bird called a sparrow. But now this is pretty good that you guys don't really know anything about sparrows because the thing is, I bet if I asked you to tell me about an eagle, as we did several weeks ago, you knew tons of stuff about eagles. And if I were to ask you to tell me something about, let's say, a parrot, how would you describe a parrot? They can talk. They can learn to talk. They can copy people's speech, and they can learn to talk. What else? What, Michael, did, can, were you going to say something? What, what, you know, are they pretty colorful? Are they, they're really beautiful birds, aren't they? But when I mention sparrow, it's, it's kind of like, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you know what? That's on purpose because in the Bible, the sparrow is mentioned in a really special way. Now, I'm going to show you some pictures, and Miss Carmen printed these pictures for us to look at. You each can hold one and pass them among you. These are pictures of sparrows. Now, the folks out there aren't going to be able to see them as closely. Here's some more. Uh, but I want each of you to give me one word that would describe what you're looking at. As soon as somebody has a word, tell us. How would you describe it? <coughs> Any word. One word. Pick one word. Uh, Ashley, I'll come back to you. Ashley, got a word? Okay, he's got feathers. Now, that's not very distinctive, is it? <laughs> that's what makes birds birds, is they have feathers. So that, that's not, but that is, that's an observation. Got feathers. Michael, what can you say? And it can fly. Now we know those feathers are what help it. Actually, they, they create the lift of wind to make them fly. But once again, we're kind of stumped. You're looking at it thinking, this is a very ordinary looking bird. Why are we talking about these this morning? What? And they're very small. They're very small in size. And they're not really colorful, are they? So they don't announce themselves to the world and say, I'm an eagle. I'm a blue jay. I'm a parrot. I'm this gorgeous bird. They don't. People can miss them. Other birds can be mean to them because they're so small and they're, they're just kind of, you know, they sort of blend in. But guess what? God loves them. And yes. God made them to be cared for in his kingdom. They are able to find food. They actually, they have a pretty little song. If you can be near one, it's very soft. But God takes care of them even though they are among the smallest of his birds. And this is what Jesus said about them. He said, if you're worried about whether or not God loves you, I want you to think about the tiny little sparrow. As small as it is, and people don't really think of it as being important in the bird kingdom. Now, I'm adding some words to what Jesus said, but this is, this is what he wanted people to know. He said, as small and unimportant as the sparrow seems, God loves it. God takes care of it. And not one sparrow could fall to the ground like maybe a baby that fell out of the nest without your father caring and wanting to make provision for that little bird to be cared for. If God loves the sparrow that much, think how much more he loves you yes. as his child. Amen. And so now we've got something extra special. We're not going to take the time 
for you to pick it right now because we want to go on with some other parts of our service. But after church, I'm going to let each of you all pick. Miss Carmen has made sparrows for you to have. They're breakable, and, and I want you to take them home, put them in a special place where you can see it, where it, where it won't fall. And every time you see it, I want you to be able to say, that is God, one of God's smallest birds, and he loves it. He loves me even more. Yes. Uh, now, I do want you to do something special this morning, though, and I'm going to apologize ahead of time if there's somebody out there who has a, a super big need. I have told the big people about this a few weeks ago that many years ago I heard a lady on the radio talk about when she knew somebody had a, kind of like a really big need, she would get a little sparrow and take it to them, not, not a living one, but she would get like a model of one. And I said, sometimes it's hard to find them because people always want the big impressive birds. And Ms. Carmen said, I'll make you sparrows mm -hmm. so that you all can have them. But I know we happen to have some people right now who have some needs that I'd like you to give them a sparrow. Then you're going to get one too. You're going to get one, but I want you to be able to give them one. And Aurora, would you take this to Miss Becky and to Johnny for them to put at their home? And so you're going to get <coughs> another one. So this, this one's for, you can go give that to them right now, okay? And, okay, you can wait a minute. And Sarah, I want you to take this one. Do you know who Miss Elizabeth is? Elizabeth, would you wave your arm back there? I <laughs> and, and I, I I have this terrible habit of sisters, and I've even called sisters by brothers' names and brothers by sisters' names. Do you think I have a problem with siblings? <laughs> this is Ashley, guys, yes. and I apologize. Would you give this to Elizabeth? That's a sparrow for her to have, and Michael. <coughs> and I want you to take this to Miss Dolores. And she's going to wave her hand back there for you to take it to her. Miss Dolores is going to wave her hand. Then Aurora, I've got another special delivery for you to make. Um, this one needs to go to Miss Arlene. Arlene, would you wave your arm and you're going to take this back to Miss Arlene, okay? And then afterward, you guys are going to get your own, okay? Uh, uh, Miss Arlene, would you raise your hand because Aurora's got a, a, a sparrow for you. And then after church, you guys get to pick the one. And I apologize if there's anyone else that has a serious need that I'm not aware of. I, I apologize that uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll uh, actually, I don't know, I almost forgot. Would you take this one to Miss Dory? You know who Miss Dory is because she's going to have surgery tomorrow. And we'd like her to have a sparrow. She's right back there. Okay? All right. Now, now, this one is for Miss Becky. You're going to give that to her, okay? And then after church, on your way out, you're going to get to pick the one that you want, okay? You're going to get to have one, too. Fair enough? Good deal? Okay. Uh, and now, Miss Maria is going to sing an absolutely wonderful song to help you remember God's love for us that this barrel reminds us of, okay?